Okay, what I want to talk about is edema. And edema is essentially too much fluid in extracellular space. Before we can talk about that, though, we gotta draw us out, draw ourselves out. An arterial. And the vino. So this is our vino. This is arterial. This is a capillary in between. The first thing we need to talk about is a couple of pressures. And the first one is called HPC. That stands for hydrostatic pressure of the capillary. That's essentially blood pressure. At this end, one of the interesting things about these pressures is they change by end. So the hydrostatic pressure is 35 millimeters of mercury at this end. By the time we drop to the other end, it's gotten a little smaller. I'm trying to draw my arrow slightly smaller. Because it's dropped to 18 millimeters of mercury. Now we have another pressure that's fairly important, and it's created by albumin. And albumin is made by the liver. So any kind of problem with the liver, it's gonna create a problem with albumin, and that might create a problem with edema. So what, this, what is this albumin doing? If we took a cell and we just put it up here, and we said, I'm gonna fill that with albumin, then essentially we've created a hypotonic cell. The concentration of the fluid outside of the cell is less than the concentration inside. And we know that water likes to move towards concentration, so water is going to move in. And that's osmosis. The same thing is going to happen down here in this capillary, is if we create this albumin, it's going to want to draw water from out here back towards this albumin. And so this is called osmotic pressure of the capillary. The thing about osmotic pressure is it stays the same at both ends. At the arterial end, it's about 25 millimeters of mercury. And at the venial end, it's about 25 millimeters of mercury. Now you might be doing the math already and you notice that I'm pushing out at 35 and pulling back in at 25. So that's a net out of 10 millimeters of mercury. Over here, the math is a little bit different. I'm pushing out at 18 and still pulling in at 25, so my arrow changes direction. I'm pushing back in at 7 millimeters of mercury. And so at one end, I can push fluid out of the capillary. At the other end, I'm drawing, the, drawing it back in. One of the things you might notice, though, or ask, where's that extra fluid go? Because I'm pushing out more than I'm drawing back in. And this is essentially the purpose of the lymphatic system. It's also the home to the immune system as much as the immune system can have a home. So it's kind of the immune, but it's a lymphatic vessel. So this extra fluid will enter the lymphatic vessel. The next thing I want to talk about is getting back to this edema. I want to extend on what actually can cause this edema. The first thing I want to just do is list really briefly what are the main causes. And there's four main causes. One is, let's do circles is increased HPC. The next one is um, decreased
plasma proteins. The third one is increased capillary permeability. And the fourth one can be blockage of lymphatic return. Let's go through those one more time and then we'll get some more details on how that can happen. Increase HPC, if we increase this 35 higher, we're going to push out at a higher pressure. We might even push out at a higher pressure over here. So now we win more at pushing out. We push out more, we still have to draw back in the same, so now we end up with more fluid out here. If there's not enough albumin out here, that's going to decrease this osmotic pressure of the capillary. And that means we're going to be able to pull the fluid in less, we're going to be less able to pull the fluid back in. These pressures are highly dependent on basically having a sealed capillary, a continuous capillary. So there are enough pressures to force fluid through a fairly tight membrane. And so if there's any problem with this capillary to increase its permeability, these pressures then will be able to force more fluid through that damaged tissue. And the fourth one is if there's any kind of blockage of this lymphatic vessel, the fluid's going to build back up, won't be able to drain away, and that'll also cause edema.